was regarding birthday parties. Look, to be honest with you, I, I need to give an introduction to the answer. Islam is a religion I have chosen, you have chosen. Have you chosen it? We've chosen it. Is it from you or from Allah? Are you happy that it's from Allah? So if the dunya tells you something and Allah tells you something else, does it make, or which one is more important, the first or the second? What Allah has said. So even if the whole world is doing something and we are taught that this is not supposed to be done in the deen, we should not be feeling it hard in our hearts to say, Allah, if I die today, I know that I chose to be a Muslim and I chose to worship you and I know it's your rules. You know, it's so difficult today to talk because you're talking to a secular world and, and sometimes they will pick on a small point of yours and they will make it a big issue for nothing, but not realizing that we do believe you are free to choose whether you're a Muslim or not. But the fact that you chose you're a Muslim, you, you are not free to change Islam. That's what we're saying. You cannot come and say, no, uh, you know what, Islam needs to be modified. Well, then tell yourself you're a modified Muslim. Someone says, are you a Muslim? Say, no, I'm a modified Muslim, you know. So people know. But if you want to call yourself a Muslim, you've surrendered. So you need to know there are certain things that people might say, and you might think, oh, this guy is backward, man. How could he say that, you know? But it's, not be it's, not, it's because it's not from me or my pocket. My children would like to also go to birthday parties and celebrate and so on. I sit them down and I explain to them what the candles are all about. Do you know what the candles on a birthday party are all about? In ancient Europe, when the, the, the winters were so bad that people used to go into literal hibernation to keep themselves warm in, in whatever way they had. And when they would come out, they would count the dead. Did you know that? They would count the dead. And in, in order to celebrate the, the fact that those who are alive have passed through the winter and survived and fought nature, which means nature came to kill us in the form of cold. And because we fought nature and we stayed alive, now we need to defy it by blowing out the candle. So they would put how many ever candles of their age and blow them out to show we can defy it. It's something that we believe is rooted in the medieval Europe. And it comes with its own satanic origins and so on. But people today say, what's wrong? What's wrong? I'm blowing the candles. But you don't realize it's like, it's like an act of worship of the pagans. And we're saying, you know, and people have made it a culture and a tradition. The same applies to so many other things. You know, like Valentine's and so on. People start saying, but what's wrong? How come these people, you know, you're not allowed to show your love? Well, to be honest, we are being fooled by believing that, you know what, uh, you need to celebrate the fact that you're, you're one year older by throwing a big party, everyone must come, but you don't know that now you're closer to your grave, for example. Or there are more responsibilities on your shoulder. I'm not saying that when your age turns that you must not make dua to Allah, ya Allah grant me a good age and so on. But firstly, we have a Hijri calendar. Secondly, these teachings are foreign to Islam. They are actually incorrect, invalid. But they, are from, they, they come from Allah, not from me, not from you. If I had it my way and you had it your way, we would be throwing parties because our kids put pressure on us, so do mine. But we have to speak to them, address them, try and explain to them and you know, get to the origins, origins of it. The sad reality is people take part wholesale. So they'll tell you, but they did it. But these people did it. That's the peer pressure. Sadly, we're living in an age, al-qabidu ala deenihi kal ala jamr. A person who wants to hold fast to the deen is someone similar to he who is holding fast to, you know, a red hot coal, for example. So you find uh, even families which are supposedly religious, you know, they have these big birthday parties and so on, whereas it is Islamically incorrect. Wallahu a'lam. Allah knows best. Like I said, I've introduced, I've given you a little introduction before I gave the answer. Uh, there are more important things we could do, you know, than that. And we could have, uh, you know, we could throw a party on a different occasion altogether in order to celebrate other things uh, than to do it the pagan way. You know, I would prefer a graduation party than to have a birthday party any day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our children. May He bless us all. It was wonderful being here. I really thought I would be dozing because of uh, the, the, the responsibilities I've had to fulfill yesterday. Uh, but by the will of Allah, I've been quite awake. Uh, I'm more awake than when I started. So Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah. I really appreciate your attention because to have people seated for two whole hours and perhaps a little bit more is not a joke. Uh, but then again, 
Uh, it was for a good cause and Allah reward you. Jazakumullah khair. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Subhanallah bihamdi, subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.